The photo shows Sergeant Billy B, a slim 26-year-old Marine, blown backward as a bullet explodes at the top of the wall near his head. Speaking to Reuters 13 years later from his home in Jacksonville, North Carolina, B reflects on America's longest war, and that day in May of 2008 that he came under fire. You could see, I mean, probably the building wasn't 50 yards away, you know, out that way. Seen a uh, curtain move aside, so, you know, I draw down, seen a head poke through the window. And when that happened, like that's the last thing I remember. Uh, the shot had actually come from probably 200 yards away from the complete opposite direction. And that's basically all I remember. B was briefly unconscious, but apparently fine. Uh, apparently they thought I got shot in the head. Uh, just, it knocked me out for a while, for a uh, couple minutes. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I woke up, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm good. I don't need to go anywhere. You know, I'm good. Just popped a couple of Tylenol and I'm good. The Reuters photographer embedded with B that day and snapped the photo told B, you are going to be famous. And within hours, the picture had appeared on websites and newspapers around the world. That shot, taken by Reuters photographer Goran Tomasevic, whose own life was forged by war in his native land, is one of the iconic pictures of the conflict in Afghanistan, capturing the eternal fragility of service members at war. Recently, the two shared their reflections on that day from the retired U.S. Marine's home, where a banner, Be Happy, greets visitors at the front door. His wife, pregnant at the time with their son, Ethan, screamed so loudly when she saw the photo on a website, her parents thought she was in labor. B loves the picture. It makes him laugh. The Purple Heart recipient even commissioned a painting of a Star Wars stormtrooper in the same situation he was in at war. Though he was spared from visible injury on that day 13 years ago, as it turned out, he wasn't fine. B who left the Marines in 2013, has a frontal lobe brain injury that affects his short-term memory. He has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and rage disorder. It's not always what you see in the news, you know, it, it presents differently for every single person. Today, B is routinely quoted in news stories published worldwide and is often cited as an example of how the Veterans Administration struggled to adequately care for service members suffering from mental health problems brought on by their service. But that picture thrust him into the public eye, and he and his wife, Bobby B, have used it to advance the cause of care of service members damaged by war.